Today on The State of Health, we're diving into the intriguing world of hereditary angioedema and the exciting developments in gene editing therapy. The State of Health is a semi-weekly podcast and publication where we discuss the most crucial news and research in medicine and healthcare. For more information about our YouTube channel, newsletter, and publication, head over to stateofhealth.care. Today, we're shedding light on hereditary angioedema, a rare autosomal dominant disorder that affects about 1 in 50,000 people worldwide. This condition is marked by unpredictable and recurrent episodes of swelling, often debilitating and potentially life-threatening if the swelling affects the larynx. The disease usually begins in childhood and follows individuals throughout their lives with attacks that can last from three to five days if untreated. The gastrointestinal tract and cutaneous tissues are frequently involved causing significant discomfort and sometimes disfigurement. The cause of hereditary angioedema is typically linked to variations in the gene serping one, which affects the production of the protein known as C1 esterase inhibitor. This disruption leads to an increase in bradykinin, a peptide responsible for blood vessel permeability, resulting in the swelling episodes characteristic of the disease. In recent years, advancements in treatments have improved the lives of those affected, but they often require lifelong administration, which can impact the quality of life. Enter a revolutionary gene editing therapy using the CRISPR technology called NTLA-2002. Designed to be a one-time intravenous treatment, this therapy aims to edit the gene responsible for producing calocrine B1 significantly reducing the protein levels of plasma calocrine, thereby preventing angioedema attacks. Let's delve into the study that was recently published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The clinical trial investigated NTLA-2002's efficacy and safety. The study randomly assigned adults with hereditary angioedema to receive either a single dose of 25 mg or 50 mg of NTLA-2002 or a placebo. The primary goal was to observe the number of angioedema attacks per month from week 1 through week 16. Results were promising. Patients receiving NTLA-2002 saw a significant decrease in attack rates compared to those on placebo, with the attack rate dropping by 75% with the 25 mg dose and 77% with the 50 mg dose. Moreover, a substantial number of patients who received NTLA-2002 were attack-free during the trial period without requiring additional treatment. The most common side effects were mild, including headache, fatigue, and nasopharyngitis. So what's the bottom line here? The results of this study reveal that NTLA-2002, an innovative CRISPR gene editing therapy, showcases significant promise as a transformative treatment for hereditary angioedema by effectively reducing plasma calocrine protein levels. Patients experienced a substantial decrease in the frequency of angioedema attacks with many achieving complete attack-free periods without the need for additional treatment. The trial's findings are particularly compelling, given the chronic and burdensome nature of hereditary angioedema, offering a glimpse of what could potentially be a functional cure with a single dose of this gene-editing therapy. The safety profile was reassuring, with no serious adverse events reported among those treated with NTLA-2002. Overall, this new gene-editing therapy demonstrated a robust and sustained reduction in plasma calocrine levels, providing a potential breakthrough in the treatment of hereditary angioedema. These findings pave the way for larger phase 3 trials, which could offer new hope for patients seeking more manageable long-term solutions to this challenging condition. If confirmed, these developments could fundamentally change the management of hereditary angioedema, reducing the lifelong treatment burden, and significantly enhancing patient outcomes.